And here we are once more back for another shoe review video. And again, it's your YouTuber Henry to give you reviews of whatever sneaker that catches our attention and curiosity. So, in our shoe video for today, we are gonna talk about this particular running shoe slash dad shoe, which actually is one favorite of mine in my line of sneakers. And not just because it's my favorite, kaya ako naisip ang gawa ng review ito, but also naisip ko din that the information that I will be sharing with you in this video could somehow be beneficial na din to you guys in terms of, let's say, siguro fashion and medical-wise na din if you're in search for a trainers that you could use on a regular. And by the way, please stay tuned na rin for more upcoming videos as I will be creating other contents such as travel and lifestyle contents particular to my workout regimen where I will be sharing with you some of my trainings and might bring you na din to the gyms where I regularly conduct fitness coaching those kinds na you could use na din at your regular exercises Our shoe video for today is for those who are looking for comfortable shoes that you could use on a daily whether it's a walk the dog thing lang short run, jogging or perhaps going on a trip whatever I'm gonna discuss to you why I could recommend this shoe we will tackle its features style and its performance since we've been noticing lately that the trends seem to go backwards you know when I say backwards it's like yung fashion style nowadays ay parang nagbabalik tanaw sa nakaraan Uy! Ano yun? So, ayun nga, kagaya ng sinasabi ko, kahit wala naman ako masyadong sinasabi, the 90s fashion, the 2000s, the Gen Z, is actually back. Where boys and girls get to appreciate yung fashion style nila titos and titas noon. Kaya somehow appreciated na din yung ganitong looks, ganitong style ng sapatos. So, what we have here, kagaya nga nang nabanggit ko kanina, it's a modern dad shoe naman, and very efficient and versatile itong shoes na to, huh? I'm telling you, if you happen to have this kind, ang sarap niyang suotin. Ang sarap niyang gamitin. There you go. Out. Yes. It's the A6 Gel Cayano 27. ta -da! There you have it. Mm-hmm. Okay, natin. There. A6 Gel Kayano 27 Stability Shoe Hindi siya bago ah 2 years old na yung model Actually going 3 And yung latest ng Kayano is yung 29 But why did I opt for 27 instead of 29 na yung latest niya? Very basic reason It's the birth date of my daughter 27 That simple Nothing fancy But as far as the review is concerned Though I haven't used yung 29 Hindi ko pa siya natry Pero ang dami kong nabasang magagandang reviews about it. Well, perhaps we could have it in time. But for now, dito na lang muna tayo. And with that, I'm gonna show you something. Roll VTR. 1949. Kihachiro Onitsuka. A Japanese military veteran who was making footwear for children put up a shoe firm and called it Onitsuka Company. During the post-war Japan, Onitsuka wanted to encourage Japanese youth into a healthy lifestyle through sports and athletics. With his mission to transform the basketball shoe which back then was not designed for fast-paced movements and essential grip on the court. With his numbers of attempts and failures, Onitsuka discovered an idea from his octopus salad after noticing how the octopus tentacles had such strong grip and realizing that he could achieve the kind of grip needed. Throughout the 50s and 60s, Onitsuka developed innovative tennis, volleyball, and running shoes. Technical development continued on through the 80s when A6 released gel material to running shoes. A revolutionary cushioning technology which remains the go-to choice for runners over the world. As the brand grew, its cultural impact started growing as well. In 1978, Bruce Lee sported a pair of Onitsuka Tiger Mexico 66 in his film Game of Death. The iconic yellow shoe would later inspire Tarantino's famous lead character in Kill Bill. So let's go back to the shoes. I have this in size 10 and it's a very true to size fit shoes. 
with its colorway na. Let's go to the colorway details. Tapakita ko sa inyo. Yeah. Gel Kayano 27. Sheet Rock Magnetic Blue. Premium stability shoe that offers great protection without compromising the comfort and cushioning of the shoes. So, yan. Coach, ano ba ang stability shoe? Ano bang sinasabi mo? Okay, I'll explain it later. After this, panoorin niyo muna to. Overpronation and underpronation. Both terms describe the way you pronate or walk or run. Overpronation and underpronation happen when your foot lands on your heel's outer edges. Ideally, your feet transfer the landing impact to the balls of your feet. In overpronation, your feet shift the impact too far. In underpronation, your feet don't shift the impact far enough. With overpronation, your foot rolls inward when you walk. And in underpronation, your foot rolls outward when you walk. So, ayun nga, sabi nung boses na yun na nagsalita doon. Overpronation and underpronation happens when your gait, G-A-I-T, hindi yung gait ng bahay nyo, ha? eventually causes the arches of your feet to flatten more than they usually or they normally do. Ang gait nakikita yan sa, or nadjudge yan sa backside ng leg natin. Ito, kuha tayo ng example dito. Buti na lang meron ito dito. Si Barbie! Sabi na! As basis, explain ko lang, yung gait, nakikita yan or nadjudge yan dito sa part ng leg natin na ito. From the calves, down to the Achilles. Um, usually kasi when we land our strides, yung mga hakbang natin when we walk or when we run, every time we land, itong part na... Hindi naman nababali ko, baka magpilayan pa si Barbie. Okay, let's have this perhaps. Ito na lang, kumari. Baka mabalian pa si Barbie doon. So, ito. Mas ma-appreciate kasi kapag sa backside ng shoe, pinapakita. Okay, yung gait natin, when we land our stride, alimbawa, every time na mag-land yung hakbang natin, yung tapak natin sa floor, overpronate goes something like this. Diba, ito yung normal. Ayan, yung pare. Pag nag-land yan dyan, pag nag-land yan sa floor, that's the normal, derecho. Overpronate happens like this. Pag nag-land yan, may wobbling na nagaganap. Overpronation goes something like this. Kung saan yung uh, foot natin, go more on this side, inner side. Yan. While underpronation goes outside, outward naman. So, mas mataas yung tendency nito na mag-cause ng injuries. When your gait tends to overpronate, nagro-rotate kang pa ganyan. Kung mga ganyan yung paa mo papasok. Underpronate, goes outward. Yan. Malaki yung chances or yung probability ng tapilo. It increases the risk ng ankle, ng Achilles, leg, knee, hip injuries, and worst, umaabot sa lower back natin. This part of the shoe right here, itong area na to, kung mapapansin ninyo, ilalim may plate yan. Ang purpose niyan is, every time we stride, when we land, it prevents your feet from wobbling. That's one of the special features ng stability shoes. Kaya mostly you will hear doon sa mga nagsisimula pa lang into running. Like your friends na you're trying to convince to join you in jogging or running. You'll hear them say na, ah, I can't kasi madaling sumakit itong area ng leg ko na to. Itong paa ko, etc, etc. Bukod sa it's a big excuse, that's actually it. Nasasaktan tayo, we tend to get hurt kasi Pinipilit natin ang mga bagay-bagay na hindi dapat para sa atin. Ano daw? We get to be injury prone kasi we tend to jump immediately dun sa activity without knowing first the type of gait that we have. So there are ways to find it out. Together with the options on how to correct it, you could add orthotic insoles into your shoes or better if you could find a shoe store that conducts tests kung saan ma-analyze yung gait na meron ka. Runner for example, the runner store. Yung mga sales personnel nila, they are experienced runners and coaches that could give you advices and help you analyze your need for running. So there, as a final verdict, this Kayano 27 is everything that we can expect from a premium stability shoes. It is sturdy, it's supportive, 
and has incredible plush comfort in it. All the technology is put together and packed in these shoes probably gets the job done right. It's totally a great shoe that you guys could give a try. So there you have it. I hope you find this video informative. Please like and hit that subscribe button for more future videos. See ya! A peace!